so quickly i would tell a very nice mind-blowing story just listening attentively and i promise and i assure you you'll be swayed off your feet <laughs> all right quickly to it long time ago uh, uh, there was this very lazy very lazy guy you know you understand he impregnated a girl and the girl later gave birth to a very handsome guy too uh, so what happened was the woman later uh, left him and he was uh, left alone to raise the child alone you know they would go out and beg for food and all of that that was how he this uh, young uh, champ grew up you understand so the father was of uh, uh, became old and uh, was about to die so he called the son and told the son that this is the cutlass he inherited from his father and his father inherited it from his great grand from his uh, grandfather and the grandfather inherited it from the great grand just like that like that so he said it's time for him to give it to the give the class to the son so the son was like okay is this the only thing i'm going to uh, inherit from you or the only thing i'm going to gain from you he said yes because that's the only thing he gained from the father and they've been lazy and you know they've not been able to do something tangible with their lives and uh, uh, acquire uh, any tangible uh, uh, property so that was what happened so at the end of the day he gave the son the cutlass and he died so the co the friend was left alone in the world and uh, as time went on and all of that so he made a friend the son made a friend and uh, also made a very lazy friend very very lazy friend so uh, they were together and they go out they beg for food and, and all of that so it's got to a particular day the this young man decided that no 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 he has to do something he just won't survive like this and uh, continue to survive like this pass on poverty to his own children just the way he he got it from his own fathers so he later went to his neighbor and told the neighbor that uh, he wanted to get a piece of land uh, that neighbor should please help him out so the neighbor laughed and said your family they never cultivated the smallest piece of land that you know, one can think of so why do you think you can be able to call well please go to he described the place for him uh, very deep down like very deep uh, deep inside the bush he told him to go there and uh, you know you understand get uh, a piece of land there and do whatever he want to do and cultivate because he knew very well that he, he doesn't have the strength to to uh, to farm. So the next day, this young man was set and his lazy friend came by and he told the friend and the friend was laughing at him and even fell on the floor, was laughing. So he, well, he said, all right, no problem. So he ignored the friend and went to the farm. So as it was bad clearing, the rain was threatening to fall so he ran and left his cockles around home leaving the class and the farm so when he got to me he remembered and he was hey he had forgotten his only inheritance from his father so the friend came by and he told the friend the friend laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed so the friend was like the only day you decided to go to the farm so this is how you you you, you, you forgot the only inheritance that your father and left for you so he told the friend that you know, the next day he would go there and uh, and collect the class so the next day came and uh, he told the friend that he, he was on his way to get the class so the friend told him no 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 that that day was meant for the spirit and for the spirit alone and nobody's supposed to go to the farm or go to the stream 
everybody is supposed to be at home maybe visit friends just around and and all of that nobody's expected to go to the bush or take any bush part now that day was meant for the spirit specifically he ignored the friend and went so he got there collect co class as he was trying to remove the the sand off the co class he had uh, bound sound some places were clean bound bound like hitting drums and all of that so he was like who is playing band in inside this booth are they holding party so out of curiosity he was trying to trace where the sound was coming from so the closer he gets the louder the sound became he was surprised and who is playing and what kind of celebration are they doing inside this thick forest so he got there finally and he stretched his neck and behold what he saw he saw spirit beings somewhere standing on their heads somewhere standing on their on the air while they were wrestling seriously he saw skills that he had never seen in his entire life they were wrestling and you know the king amongst them said i, I can't feel I, 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 there's there's a human around the the you no know, the smell i can i can i can smell a human around so the assistant told him no no ah, my king all the whole humans know that today is meant for them and none of them would would even have the have the ghost to come out to to because they know that definitely something terrible would happen to them so they can't they know you know it's been a long time uh uh, uh aged uh, religion so they know very well but the king will say okay fine they can they can continue so you know within a few minutes the king stopped them again and he said no this time he knows what he's saying that this that the smell is very strong so immediately this lazy guy jumped out and started to cry and beg i was like please you push no kill me oh. i i am very lazy I'm, I'm this i'm that i'm sorry all of that so <laughs> the spirit being told him that no 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 there's nobody that sees the spirit and still go back alive so when they were going back they took him along the friend was already in his house waiting two days three days the friend was crying and all of that so what happened was the spirits they scrutinized him they saw that he yes he was lazy and all of that but he has this clean spirit they, he has he can he has never killed anybody he has no blood stain you know he on his hand and he has he can never steal what he, he can never take what is not his you understand and he's very sincere and they saw him and they, wow. so somebody like this still exists so because of that they taught him theory fighting skills they taught him Theory fighting skills, yes. So that was what happened. So they told him that the day he revealed the secret to any human and eventually the person beat him and his back touched the ground, that is the day he's going to die. So he should go to his grave with the secrets. He said all right no problem so on the seventh day they they left him they they told him to return back to the land of the living so as he was very close to his house his friend sighted him and shouted ran towards him and hugged him i was very happy extremely very happy so the friend was not like where did you go to i've been in your house i've been crying and and all of that i've been i've been so 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 down thinking that something bad had happened to you so he told the friend no 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 he lied to the friend that he went to the mother's village and that he went to cool off there you know you understand for some time and and, and all of that so the friend was very happy to see him very very happy to see him 
But the friend had noticed something different in him. Something very different in him. But the friend just overlooked and told him that hey, there's something that are going on, you understand, uh, uh, at the, the village square. You know, this every year, once in a year, fights, you know, people from neighboring villages coming around to, 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 to wrestle, to fight, and you understand, just for entertainment and all of that. So, they went to the village square. On getting there, they saw a very big bully that had beaten everybody hands down. And this bully was shouting and insulting the king. I was telling the king that he already has uh, 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 that he's got uh, three wives. That he already has three wives, and the princess. He's going to add the princess to the wives that he already has. That if there's nobody that can beat him in the land that definitely he would go with the princess understand to make the princess the fourth wife so he was ranting and shouting and insulting the king and the chiefs and all of that so angrily this lazy young man came out and told the king that he wanted to fight the the bully that had beaten everybody <laughs> everybody laughed fell on the floor and they were like so you have a death wish and so he told the king, no, 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 he's going to fight. That everybody has the right to, 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 to come out and uh, challenge this man. So, well, the king said, okay, no problem. He should go and kill himself. <laughs> so, since he has a death wish. So, the stage was set and the fight, uh, they told them to start the fight. So, as he approached the bully, the bully was laughing and uh, he just wanted to hold him and crush him and uh, scatter his bones and all of that. That was what he had in his mind. So, not knowing what happened, he passed and bam, bam, the bully was on the floor. <laughs> Everybody shouted, what just happened? No, no, no. What just happened? Like, they've not even fought and just, the bully was just about touching him and the next thing, the bully was on the floor. No, no, no. People said, no, 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 no. In fact, what happened was a mistake because nobody saw what happened. The only thing they saw was that the bully was already on the floor. Because that fight that he knows, it's not an ordinary fight. It's actually a spirit fight. So before you would comprehend what is happening, it has already happened. So that was what happened, and everybody were shouting. They say, okay, the king now said, okay, just to clear people's doubt and all that. Okay, let them do, let them fight. Let the fight, you know, let them do a rematch. The young man said, okay, no problem. That he's very okay with that. So everybody were like, are you okay with that? Say yes, yes. Let them do a rematch. You know, people opened their mouth. Some persons couldn't say anything because. They were still trying to download what happened. They were still trying to understand what happened. So that is it. And the end of the day, so they 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 were ready to 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 do a rematch. So they were set and they blew the whistle. They blew the whistle. So the fight was about to start. As the bully was about to touch him again. <laughs> Me on the floor again. <laughs> People shouted and say, "This one is not. Uh, no, 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 no. This is this is surprising." So people carried him around the village. You know, he he's very skinny, and you know that. So uh, so people carried him around the village. They were happy. They were shouting. They were jubilating and celebrating. So from that very moment, he became the strongest in the village. People came from different villages, diabolic set of persons, to fight him, and he defeated all. And the most surprising thing about it is, he dealt with them without breaking a sweat. 
So he became so, so, so rich, even richer than the king. Up to the extent of they don't take any decision in that village without hearing from him first. So he's, he became so, 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 so rich. <laughs> Very rich. His friend was with him, was always going to anywhere with him, everywhere and anywhere with him. You understand? The, f the, the friend's job was to blow flute to ginger him while he's fighting, doing his thing. So, it, uh, there was a day that uh, this particular day, the friend called him and told him, from that very moment, he returned from his, uh, came back from his mother's village, something was wrong that he was trying to but he couldn't comprehend what was he didn't understand what was wrong but well he just but he knew that something was wrong that the friend should tell him or else they would end the relationship the friend begged him and begged him i was like no 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 no, no. they've been together for so long so there is no way he can't allow his friend to just go like that and they have they've been together through ticks and tons you understand so he begged and the friend said no no so as the friend was bad living he held him and told him to come back and begged him that please he shouldn't tell anybody the secret so as he was telling his friend he was crying and he taught the friend two of the skills two of the skills and kept one to himself so immediately the friend told him that he wanted to go and do something outside that was how the friend left the village to a very far village from their own village so as he was going he was fighting and acquiring properties the difference between him and this his friend was he became a bully he was intoxicated by the the strength you understand he became so so rich he was so 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 he became so rich and arrogant too so something happened he got to this particular village and he had beaten and dealt with everybody so he was shouting and 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 ranting and telling people that there's nobody that can beat him on planet earth so a very young girl came out and told him excuse me sir there is a particular man that you can never beat on planet earth if you're able to beat that man then well i'm very sure they'll crown you the strongest in the world he shouted at this little girl and told the girl who there is no man born of a woman that can beat me <laughs> so the, the the girl told him that hmm this man we've seen his fight <laughs> there is no body that has been able to beat him so not even you so he shouted and said we shall see all right to get more of these videos just uh contact us on chat me up on whatsapp and definitely you'll see what happened